you know, we've been training for for months. And I remember so it was the time to, uh, you know, put all out there. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but, um, you know, he'll uh, give his opportunity to, um, you know, show what he can do. Um, overall, I felt like I had a great day. And I was uh, very thankful for the opportunity to, uh, you know, have a pro day this year. Um, you know, the way everyone was able to put on such a, um, you know, a well-run, uh, well-oiled machine today, um, felt really good about it. <laughs> yeah, hey, Will, both on and off the field, how do you feel being a student athlete at Penn State has prepared you to play in the NFL? Yeah, um, it's a combination of being a student athlete and the commitment it takes. Um, you know, it's not for everyone. Um, you know, going to class across campus and then, you know, rushing to get to practice, you know, those are, uh, you know, tough things to do, but um, it's things that prepare you for life. And, um, can't um, thank, uh, you know, Coach Arizona, Franklin and this university really enough for uh, preparing me for the uh, next journey and uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, what's in store. Um, and, you know, I never got a pro with that, everything like that. So next to Ruiz Cartel. Training this whole time, um, just preparing my body, preparing my mind for this day. Why do you um, think that Penn State and guys I pretty much just texted Coach Galt, kind of like yeah, in um, January-ish, and I told him, like, listen, I want to start um, You know, it really comes down to, you know, starts with the, with the strength staff, you know, uh, Coach Galt, Coach Lofty, uh Coach um, you know, we spend the most time with uh, with them. You know, we really year-round, they're here working us out, uh, getting us prepared to, you know, play um, – you know, as many games as possible. So that's where it really starts. And it's really the culture um, of this university and uh, this football program, the competitiveness, you know, going out there competing with your brothers every day and, you know, working towards that common goal. It, uh, it, it's really something special when you could come out here and compete one last time in uh, Luba Hall. Next, we'll go to Jake. Yeah, you know, obviously you've been here five years now, you know, suck it out, maybe longer than most. Just what does it mean to you to finally get to this point? Um, you know, it really is uh, a dream in progress, you know, something you uh, uh, yeah, so think I'm about when you're a little kid and, you know, going through high school, going through college, and now you're here living, uh, you know, what you've always thought about. So I'm just trying to enjoy the process, you know, take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, one minute at a time, and just continually trying to get better and, uh, you know, make everything I can out of this journey. Oh, okay. We'll see you next. Uh, well, uh, Mateus from Time Out Brazil. Uh, congratulations for going for the, the NFL draft. Thank and, you. Uh, how do you think that uh, playing a Penn State in, in a big conference, like every week you have to face like so many good guys, they're probably going to be, <laughs> and they're probably going to be on the NFL. Uh, how do you think that that week to week, like preparing you? Repeat for, I couldn't hear you. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, prepare you for the NFL. Sorry. Yeah. Um, kind of like you alluded to, week in, week out, you're facing basically a, a first round draft pick, a second round draft pick. Uh, um, so, you know, getting those matchups, you know, against, you know, Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, Iowa, you know, all those guys are playing on Sundays now. So it's a tough matchup every week, but um, it really just makes you better at the end of the day. And, um, you know, I've played against all those top guys and, you know, have done well and, uh, you know, excited to show what I can do on Sundays. Positive attitude, great work. Thank you. Good luck during the process. Yeah, well, you know, obviously you've had a couple different position coaches in your time here at Penn State. You know, what have you learned from each of them and how has that sort of been helpful for you to learn some perspectives from maybe each offensive line coach? It felt like it was Penn State all Yeah, you know, everyone has their own philosophy, their own methods of coaching and teaching. And, you know, going through that journey, you learn how to adapt and, you know, you learn how to uh, get coached by different perspectives and, um, you know, how to do that at Penn State. But, um, you know, can't say enough good things about the, the people that have coached me. Um, you know, they've helped me mold me into the player I am today. Um, you know, this past season with Coach Chawan, you know, worked with me so much, you know, and helped me um, continue to get better in my game. And, uh, you know, can't thank him enough. And, um, you know, can use him as a resource for the rest of my life. I felt like I did pretty well, you know, considering. Any more questions for Will? I've been working out and I've been doing everything I have to do to be prepared. All right. to Thanks, Will. Thanks, everybody. Uh, thank you. Every day during